By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we're having another mail day. It's uh, it's actually pretty busy. I'm really happy with that. Uh, we've got mail from the Netherlands. We've got mail from Germany. Nicht knicken. Okay, listen to the instructions. Nicht knicken. Um, and we've got email. I believe this one is from France. So yeah, Beba. That is the Netherlands of France. So uh, three different countries represented right here. Right here. Why not just start with? The one from the Netherlands, why not? Okay, there we go. Bubble envelope, that's a good sign. Okay. Let's have a look if there's nothing personal in here. I don't think so. Don't want to give away any private information of the seller. And we're going to open it up. Oh, here we go. Yes, I remember. So I got this beta, um, this beta plague reds not too long ago from Plague Doctor. And then I thought, you know what? Let's order some revised plague reds too. I already own, of course, a full play set. But the funny thing about these is you used to be allowed um, to play as many as you wanted. And I kind of remember that rule and I thought it would be kind of cool to do that again. So Plague Reds is one black and two for Summon Reds. And it's got two asterisks here below. And the asterisks below are the number of Plague Reds in play, counting both sides. Thus, if there are two Plague Reds in play, each has power and toughness 2-2. Two, two. Right, so they start out being kind of a bad creature, right? You pay three and there's only one Red in play. It's just a 1-1. One, one. But if you've got two, it's a 2-2, two, two. it's a 3-3, three, three. it's a 4-4, four, four. it's a 5-5, five, five. it's an 8-8, eight, eight. or sorry, it's a 6-6, six, six. it's a 7-7, seven, seven. and then it's an 8-8, eight, because eight, I think I ordered 8. Oh, I ordered 10, actually. Okay, so you kind of get the jest, right? The more plague rats you have in play, the stronger the plague rats become. And these are 10 beautiful... Excellent condition plague rats from the revised set. Maybe I'm going to do something with it. Maybe. I've got some ideas. So I definitely want to go and experiment creating a plague rats deck. And I know actually in, in Alpha 40, Plague Doctor told me so, um, the plague rats deck is quite successful and pretty popular. So I kind of like that idea. What I also like about the art, by the way, are here the little eyes you see at the back, right? So you see one, you only see one red, but you always know that there must be more rats. Beautiful art by Anson Maddox. Okay, so that's the first little mail day from the Netherlands. We're gonna put that aside, and now we're gonna go to Germany, to our nicht knicken, don't bend envelope. Games Island, I've ordered from them before. They're on uh, Magic Card Market. They're good, they're reliable in my book. Vielen Dank für deine Bestellung by Games Island. So thank you very much for your order at Games Island. Kind of dank, kind of dank. There we go. Open it up. Almost looks like you're ordering something else. And of course, we've got our protective armor, right? We got a zombie token. Okay. And then, ah, we've got the cards that I wanted. So... I've got these cards for my sideboard of my Flying Elementals deck. So I'm not sure if you've seen it in action already. It wasn't very successful the first test run. As a matter of fact, it lost all the games, but I've been tweaking it slowly and it is really, really getting better. So the Flying Elementals deck, a lot of fun to play. It's slowly getting better and creating a sideboard is kind of part of the process. So here we've got Ein Steppenbrand, which means I'm Flash Fires. And uh, allen Ebenen im Spell werden vernietigt, vernietigt, whatever. Anyway, all planes in the game are destroyed when you play this baby. So it's a one-sided Armageddon, right? If your opponent is playing um, with white. So it's pretty good. I've ordered three for some reason, not four, but three. I guess that's the new magic number. So three of these. And then um, we're going to go to the last envelope. And I think I've... I kept best for last. I think I know what's in here. 
And um, yeah, this is this is a really good one. Her name's Gwendolyn. I already have Nicole Bolas with the same colors. Let's give it a try. First I see this, I gotta check the letter. Okay, you'll find attached the card you ordered on Magic Card Market. I just, I don't wanna sh show you the uh, the letter because there are some uh, address details on here. So I don't wanna give away his name or the address details. Uh, this has been a purchase on Magic Card Market. It's really a card that I wanted to. Um, I bought the Italian one for the simple reason that the English price for, for this card is re well, I wouldn't, I don't want, I don't like to say ridiculous, right? Because I, you know, we got to be realistic. There seems to be no roof on the prices, but it's a card that I love to play in, in EDH old school. And I already have Tetsumo Umezawa. I already have Nico Bolas and I kind of felt, okay, this, this girl needs to be added to the group of bad guys. So you probably already know what it is, right? But. I'm just gonna pretend you don't. I'm gonna make it a little surprise. Oh, there, there she is. All right, there she is. All right, okay. So we got some nice cover cards, right? We've got, yeah, whatever. Uh, we've got, okay. And then we've got the big hits and some more uh, decorations. So here she is, Gwendolyn the Gorgie. Wow, that art is just fantastic. The nice, the cool thing about this card actually is, and that's why I thought it's not too bad to get her in Italian. She is actually Italian, isn't she, the character? So maybe it makes more sense getting this card in Italian than in English. Although, of course, I would love to own this one in English as well. But let's take a look at the card, what it does. So one blue, black, black, and red. So those are the colors of Nicol Bolas. You get a um, summon legend, obviously. You can tap her. Let's first look at her stats. So it's a 3-5, which is actually pretty good. So a 3-5 for four mana, right? That is pretty good. And then um, you can tap her and your opponent actually has to discard a card. So you tap her and then the opponent has to discard a card. Now you can only do this in your own turn. So it's like a disrupting scepter, uh, scepter effect. But the thing is you don't have to pay any mana for it. So it is, I understand why this card is valuable. Should it be this valuable? No way. It's absolutely overpriced in my opinion. But then again, I'm not a finance channel. I'm just a player uh, who's kind of bumped with these high prices. You know, like many, like many probably if you're watching this, you love old school too. And you also don't like, you know, these huge prices. But what I do understand is that, yes, this is a very good card because you're paying four mana for a three five, right? with an upside. So it's got pretty good stats for four, especially in old school. You can tap her and it can start discarding cards. Because she's a legend, you know, you can use her in Commander. Um, I play EDH 93, 94, obviously, that's what I love to do. There are some videos on the channel uh, where I play this format. Um, so, but I'm sure in, in, in modern Commander, as they call it, I'm sure you have uh, decks build around uh, Gwendolyn de Gorgi, or at least decks where she's plays a part in it, uh, because it's it's a good card. It's a I think even for for modern standards, even though I don't know a lot about you know the modern Magic Scape, um, I think it's a good card. Anyway, I'm really 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 happy to own this one. Absolutely amazing. Um, beautiful beautiful card. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Gwendolyn and what you think of her as a card. Have you played with her? Would you like to play with her? Um, do you own your own copy? You know, I hope you do because she's very expensive uh, to purchase at the moment. Un un again, unfortunately, but it, that's that's today. Today, that's the market today. Um, anyway, this was my mail day. Uh, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed this video, if you like these mail day vids, let me know in the comments below. Also, leave a like. It really helps the channel move forward. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. And what you can also do is you can become a patron uh, by clicking, um, by joining my Patreon page. So Timmy Talks has its own Patreon page. There's probably an info card popping up right now. You click on the info card um, and then, uh, yeah, it takes you to the Timmy Talks uh, Patreon page and 
you can actually support the channel. It already starts with $1 a month. So if you like the content that I make and you want me to keep doing it, please consider becoming a sponsor of the show. And one of the huge benefits of becoming a sponsor is that your name will end up on the end credits. Really? Yes, really. Talking about that, let's take a look at our fantastic, amazing channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.